angry guy here, and Uber Eats drivers are committing crimes over tips. Guys, we're talking about how Uber drivers are committing crimes over tips. There's some stuff I want to show you. And, I mean, it's pretty crazy. So, for, let me just basically put it out there. There's some studies out there, and these studies show some interesting things. For example, here's one study that shows that 28% of delivery drivers admit to eating your food in new study. But that's not, even, that's not even the entirety of it. If we actually go to another article, it shows that it's actually much worse than that. This one was actually published even more recently in 2022, June of 2022. It says nearly 80% of delivery drivers admit to eating customers' food in a study. 80%, okay? These guys are scumbags. These guys are scumbags. And many of you might not know this. Some of you probably do. But when you order from Uber Eats, you can actually, you can actually reduce your tip after they've uh, after they've picked up your food after they've delivered your food so for example if you you know they have a, they have a new policy where they basically say no tip no trip if you order food and you don't put a tip these these scumbags don't want to deliver your food so you end up having to you know leave a ridiculous tip to these people you know these lazy people and and in the end you know is it really worth it you don't really have a choice that's the thing so these people these lazy people that's what I'm calling them they end up coming and they get a tip for 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 bringing your food late, or 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 you know or or the presentation like you look in the bag and shit spilled and whatever. Well, in in the Uber Eats app, you can actually take that tip away after the food has been delivered. You can modify the tip, and, for, and the thing is that a lot of these people, they, like I said, they will not deliver your food unless it's a good about is a good tip. So, for example, you have to. They don't want this. They'll see three dollars. They'll say, Oh, yeah, that's not enough. I'm not going for three dollars. They're looking for a seven dollar, eight dollar, nine dollar, even a twenty dollar tip. All right, and then for them to fuck up your order, come on, fuck that. So you can go into Uber Eats and you can actually reduce the tip. You can reduce the tip, you know. And I've, I've done that recently. This, there was a guy, you know, I had I ordered something, the driver came by, and you know, the driver was like just hanging out on the street. And I'm like, you know, my food, it should have taken me 15 to 20 minutes to get my food. It ends up taking like 40 minutes. And I'm, I message him. I'm like, hey, dude, what's going on? You know, uh, why are you taking so long to go, go and get my food? No response. And, I, and I'm just thinking to myself, dude, just, just drop the order. Just drop the order. You know, let someone else go and pick it up. He wouldn't do that. Then he comes and then he gets here with my food and sits in his fucking car. And I'm standing at the door waiting for the bastard to come, and he won't come. And then I message him, and I'm like, I'm standing at the door, right? And he finally comes out eventually, and he just walks up past me my food, and I'm like, he's like, here you go. So, you know what? I took his fucking tip away. I went into the app, and I took his fucking tip away. I'm able to reduce, because they can, they'll, what they'll do is they'll charge you for the, they charge you for the, they charge you for the food. It, but but it Uber Eats, they put a hold on your card, but the tip itself, you can actually reduce that. You have up to like half an hour or an hour to reduce the amount that you tip these motherfuckers. So I took his tip away, scumbag. Now, what these people are calling it on YouTube is tip baiting, and they're on here crying about it. Oh, he tip baited me, he tip baited me. Well, some of y'all are scumbags. And I'm going to show you something. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. This channel is dedicated to your a few days left to get it actually happening of course how to, of course how to drive from mike.com use code black friday right. so firstly we're going to go over what is tip baiting is it actually happening of course how it affects your earnings and if you yeah so i mean he's he's here crying he's, he's like cry me a ripper basically what they say tip baiting is is like when a guy put when someone puts like a higher tip and then they take the tip away they reduce the tip after the food's been delivered and these people are some evil people for example, I gave you my example. These motherfuckers, they didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that tip. All right? I'll take your fucking tip away. All right? The tip is a privilege. But unfortunately, these companies are treating it like it's like you're paying a wage, paying a salary to their employees because they don't want to pay their employees right. Okay? Like, check this out. From All right. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's see here. 
Someone said, Mr. Mr. Radiator says, we need to hold Uber accountable because they are fully aware of this and they themselves enjoy the exploitation of drivers eagerly taking orders with seemingly large tip rewards. It started with them. Well, listen to me. I don't feel sorry for these people. I don't feel sorry for these drivers, all right? Because a lot of these drivers are making bank a bunch of a bunch of uh, a number. A lot of these people are they don't have any any skills whatsoever. They're lucky to have this work, but they want to. But they and they try to they try to do it as a career, and they think that they're supposed they, they deserve twenty five, thirty five, fifty dollars an hour delivering fucking food, like you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers. Let's look at this guy, young and grateful. Happened to me tonight. The customer tip baits to secure their delivery during times where drivers are absent or time to, to deliver is very high. And after the food, after they receive the food, they reduce the tip substantially. I was quoted $9.63 for a McDonald's order four miles away. And they reduced the tip by $3 to $6.93. A very scumbag maneuver. I took the entire, for me today, I, for, for my order, I took the entire tip away. I took the entire tip away from that motherfucker. No tip. All right? You got no tip. No tip at all, you bastard. All right? And I don't feel bad about it whatsoever. But these people are committing crimes. I want y'all to see I want y'all to see some of this shit. Tiffy Brown Tiffy Brownell said, "This happened to me last night. I reported them. I didn't go to cust to customer support, I reported a problem with the delivery and told them that it was a tip baiting. And as the note noted on their account, it I did absolutely nothing wrong, and my fear went from eleven dollars, eight dollar tip down to three dollars, no tip. Some people really suck. Let's look at what this guy did. So this guy named Chris Ruse, this is a delivery driver. Listen to what the scumbag did. He says, I waited a few days and broke their giant living room window. I used a baseball so they would think it was just an accident by some kids. 27 likes. All right. Look at this follow from Tommy Iron Artist. Hell yeah. Sabai, Savage. These people are actually supporting this shit. All right. These, these are some evil people. These are some real evil people. These are some real evil people. Like these people will fuck your food up. Lawless, Chris Ruth, laugh. They're, they're laughing their ass off. They're they're proud of this shit. Like these people will fuck your, they'll fuck your life up. They'll fuck your food up. They'll spend, guys. These people, these are criminals. These are criminals. This is the this is the reason why they have to work for Uber Eats. A lot of them don't have a proper education. Didn't finish high school. Like don't get me wrong. Some of them are immigrants and they come from other countries and they're happy for this work. And they work they work an entire day and make a good wage. If you work if you work eight hours doing Uber Eats and you make almost you make $150 or $200 for the day. Let's say you make $200 doing Uber Eats in a single day. That's good fucking money for that's great money for a lot of people. That's really, really good money. I just want to make that very, very clear. That's really, really good money. A lot of these, a lot of these people, they don't want to work more than five hours a day, all right. They don't want to work more than five hours a day. Some of them don't want to work more than three hours a day. Okay, a lot of them are lazy. While the rest of us have to go in and work eight hours a day minimum. These motherfuckers don't want to work at all, and they want all the money in the world. All right, and they, they'll listen. Listen, they'll eat your food. They'll eat your food. They have no pro. They have no problem eating your food. They'll steal from you. They'll steal from you. Okay. They'll steal from you because, like I showed you, eighty percent of these crooks, nearly eighty percent of delivery drivers admit to eating customers' food. Eighty percent. These are some fucking crooks. These are some fucking crooks, right? I don't feel bad for any of them. I don't feel bad for any of them. I mean, do you guys agree with me? Do you agree with me that that these people are committing crimes over tips, breaking windows, breaking someone's window over a fucking tip, and all of these people are cheering over it? Like, hell yeah, savage, man. You destroyed someone's window. You caused hundreds of dollars in property damage over, over what, a, a $10 tip, a couple of dollars? Guys, these guys, these people, these people are terrible, terrible, all right? I don't know. I had to work. Guys, 
you know, I have to work for my money. I have to work for my money. Okay. Like literally I have to work for my money. I actually have to have skills like making this video for you here on YouTube right now. <clears throat> Some people might say, well, yeah, Hey, it's kind of a shit video. Do you realize like at the time of making this video, I'm using StreamYard. I like StreamYard. StreamYard is really good. It helps me to make my videos rapidly. Okay, if like I'm not doing a lot of advanced video editing, StreamYard is perfect because I can insert videos. I can, uh, I can, you know, I can stream in videos. I can do a bunch of different things, show web, web pages. And if I was doing it on a on a video, another video editor, an actual video editor, it'd take a lot more time to then go turn around and encode it and do all of that, right? So I had to learn how to use this software. I I can use many different softwares, various video editing softwares, but I had to learn how to use this. And this is pretty cool. But it's more than that. What I'm go I'm gonna go and make my thumbnail in a little bit, right? You know, I mean, I can make my th I can literally sometimes I actually make my thumbnails while I'm while I'm recording my videos. I'm actually working on my thumbnails. Like literally, I'm sometimes I'm sitting here with you guys and I'm recording my videos and working working on my thumbnails at the exact same time. So oh, and. How do you make a thumbnail on YouTube? Well, you have to understand what, you know, not only how to make a thumbnail, but what kinds of thumbnails people are actually going to click on, right? And it's it's kind of it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have to learn you have to learn about what kinds of thumbnails people are going to click on and then and then you've got to figure out and then you've got to basically create those stuff Create those thumbnails so that people will uh, will actually want to click on your videos, and it's not easy. It's not easy work. For example, how do you make a thumbnail? I had to learn how to do all of these things. I've been doing them for years. I'm just giving you an example. You know, I'm just giving you an example. I like to use. I used to use Photoshop a lot. Right now, I'm like to make rapidly make my thumbnails. I use Canva, but there's other there's other uh, other softwares that I've also used as well tons of other software and it's like so it's it's insane because like i can make my thumbnails literally in a couple of minutes or even sometimes a couple of seconds right i can make them in, in a couple of seconds but that doesn't matter that really doesn't matter because i had to spend years learning how to do this shit all right i had to spend years learning how to make my thumbnails in literally seconds or in literally just a few minutes like as i'm sitting here with you guys i just made my thumbnail i literally just made my thumbnail like thumbnail like i'm, I'm gonna show you I, I i'll probably show it to you right now like as i'm sitting here with you guys let me see here if i can show this to you thumbnail like there it is there's the thumbnail for this fucking video Uber Eats drivers are committing crimes over tips. I literally just made this thumbnail as I'm sitting here with you guys. Just now, I literally just made this thumbnail. Headed over to Pexel, grabbed the art, and um, and made this thumbnail for you. All right? And I made this thumbnail in literally... And the reason why I designed it like this is because it becomes a clickable thumbnail, right? With text, because most people actually read text. People actually read text on the thumbnails themselves. So what you have to do is you have to make clickable thumbnails. So you actually have to learn about the kinds of thumbnails that you're going to make as well, right? You have to know about the kinds of thumbnails that you're making, right? And I made this thumbnail in literally just minutes. Literally just minutes. Or not, maybe seconds, like about a minute. About a minute, all right? And then I have to upload, I'm, after I'm done with this video, I have to download the video. I have to upload the video to YouTube. I have to optimize my tags. I can do, I, you know, my, um, the tags for the video, do the description, you know, and then also optimize the video so that, you know, it has, so that it'll transition people from one video to another video. This way, the videos, this way, YouTube, I'll gain subscribers on YouTube. All right. 
So I have to do things like put on my end screen. And I'm just like talking to you guys about all the skills that you need to be in a, a fucking YouTuber. And I had to learn these things over fucking. This is, I'm just being serious. These are just like some of the small things. Learning how to use software, learning how to make thumbnails, learning how to upload videos, learning how to how to do your descriptions, learning how to do your tags, learning how to you know make clickable thumbnails, learning how to, learning all of this, all of these things. All right. There's a patron link right that, that you're seeing right there. patreoncom slash angry guy. I have to upload these videos also to uh, to to the patrons so that the patrons that are paying get access to these videos. Like this is a fucking business. This is a fucking business. Like, this is a fucking business. I have to work fucking hard. All right? And here's the thing. I don't, you know, unlike these delivery drivers, I don't have a set, I don't have a set wage. There's no guarantee that I'm going to make money. Do you guys understand? This is how this is the life of a YouTuber. And we don't we can't sit there and cry over this shit. And yet you've got these guys out there that want to make $50 an hour for doing nothing. There are so many people on YouTube with college degrees right now doing this fucking shit. Sorry to get, oh, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I like to curse. But there are so many people doing this shit right now. You have doctors on YouTube, a shitload of them doing this hustle. You've got lawyers. You've got Everyone from people from every walk of life doing this hustle. All right, that's on top of being. I have two masters, and I dropped out of two two doctorate programs. All right, we make it very clear. I'm highly educated. I have a high level of education. And I've worked my ass off. I've almost paid, I've almost paid so much in taxes that I can that I don't that I would not have to work another day in my life very soon, and I'd be able to collect my social security. And I'm not even forty years old yet. I'm almost forty. I'll be forty this year. But I've almost worked so much, worked enough years in my life that I almost have enough money allocated towards social security that I can literally stop working. Never make another fucking dollar and collect full social security in my 60s. Even though there won't be shit there because, you know, there won't be any, there's, no, there's not going to be any social security for, for the millennials. But I'm just giving you that example. And then you have these scumbags. You got these scumbags that don't want to work, that are out here committing crimes over tips, breaking windows, stealing food. I'm believing that they're entitled. Get the fuck out of here. This is absolute bullshit. I'm just so upset. I'm so upset. Guys, do you, you guys agree that these guys are a bunch of fucking scumbags? Not all of them, but a lot of these fucking delivery drivers, they're a bunch of fucking scumbags. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yo, let me know what you think about Uber East drivers. You know, it's not just Uber Eats drivers. It's just it's DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, Instacart, all these motherfuckers. Let me know if you agree that a lot of these guys are scumbags. A lot of them are lazy. They don't want to work. And they don't deserve a tip. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you agree with what I said. And that, you know, when, these, when they fuck up, you should take their tip away. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.